Analysis is different from earlier mathematics, such as calculus, and we need to learn new knowledge and skills. Let's take a look at a typical page in an analysis book. The left side box shows a typical page of analysis books. At first glance, this is frightening and boring, but it's actually very exciting since we are going to learn some sophisticated mathematics. This page contains many symbols and abbreviations. The right side box shows what each means and how to pronounce it. These symbols work as abbreviations, such that we can express complex mathematical ideas in a condensed form. We should master them before doing anything else. They are very, very powerful. A n is a general sequence. The red arrow means tens to or converges to. This upside down a means for all or for every. This is a Greek letter epsilon. It is used as a variable. This reversed e means there exists or there is, there are. This set membership symbol is read as in or is an element of. This big N represents a natural numbers set, which includes one, two, three, and so on. Max means the maximum of. And lastly, the curly brackets represents a set. Here, it is a set that contains the numbers n1 and n2. Let's look at the lecture note and identify its key components. It contains a definition, a theorem, and a proof. The definition tells us what it means for a sequence to converge to a limit. The theorem tells what happens when we combine two convergent sequences, a n and b n, by multiplying their respective terms. The proof is a logical argument that concludes that the theorem is true. The proof first assumes that the two sequences a n and b n satisfy the definition, and then concludes that the multiplied sequence a n times b n satisfies the definition too. Thus, proves the theorem. The note might look like a jumble of symbols and words, but it can be read aloud like any other sentences. Let's try it. Definition: A sequence a n converges to a if and only if that for every number epsilon greater than zero, there exists a natural number big n such that for every number small n greater than big n, the absolute value of a n minus a is less than epsilon. Theorem: Suppose that a sequence a n converges to a, and another sequence b n converges to b. Then the sequence of the a n times b n converges to a times b. The sequence a n times b n is made by multiplying the corresponding a n and b n terms. Proof: Let a sequence a n converges to a. And the sequence b n converge to b. Let a variable epsilon greater than zero be arbitrary. Then there exists a natural number n one such that for every small n greater than n one, the absolute value of a n minus a is less than epsilon over two times the absolute value of b plus one. Also, sequence a n is bounded since all convergent sequences are bounded. So there exists a number big M greater than zero, such that for all small n in the natural number set big N, the absolute value of a n is less than or equal to big M. For this big M, there exists a number n two in the natural number set big N, such that for all smaller n greater than n two, the absolute value of b n minus b is less than epsilon over two times M. Let big M be the maximum of the set n1 and n2. Then, for all small n greater than big M, the absolute value of a n times b n minus a times b is equal to the absolute value of a n times b n minus a n times b plus a n times b minus a times b. Which is less than or equal to the absolute value of a n times b n minus b plus the absolute value of b times a n minus a. 
which equals to the absolute value of a n times the absolute value of b n minus b plus the absolute value of b times absolute value of a n minus a, which is less than the big M times epsilon over 2M plus the absolute value of b times epsilon over 2 times absolute value of b plus 1, which is less than epsilon over 2 plus epsilon over 2, which equals epsilon. Hence, the sequence a n times b n converges to a times b. Analysis is pure mathematics and should be understood as a theory, a network of general results linked together by valid logical arguments known as proofs. Analysis does not focus on repetitious calculations like calculus, but rather it focuses on the theory. It is the theorems, proofs, and ways of thinking about them that you need to understand and master.